Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the best survival game on this freaking planet with the best developers on this freaking planet. Guys, if you don't know yet, this game, Scum, is going to become the best survival game on the planet because of the developers that is working on it, okay? It is still in early access, but every single issue and bug that you with, we're facing at the moment they have guaranteed me will be gone, okay, in the full release. But this right here, guys, the Halloween um, update and what they did here at the Halloween house, okay, which is in D1 at the uh, just next to this dam right here, okay. There's an orange dot. You can just come here at night. It will be nice and spooky and everything, okay. And you guys can come here. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn my time. To let's just set the time here so you guys can see what it looks like. Set time to like uh, 23 at the moment. So you guys can see this is a very, very spooky place. Okay. So just the place alone was already fantastic. And then they brought the update and then gave us a few clues. Like they said in the last update, we must come back here. Um, and I did on stream, but you know, it's. I was looking at every single item. So guys, I tried my best to figure out the secret I couldn't. I am not taking any credit for this, okay? And no matter what YouTuber you see, if he doesn't show you exactly how he did these steps, he doesn't get any credit. But unfortunately, the content creators in Scum are not giving credit where credit is due. They either don't give credit at all, or they just say they already knew it okay if some someone comes up with a really really good with a really really good tip so i want my community in the chat and anyone that watches this video to go find out who figured this out that we can give him credit okay i always try and give people credit where credit is due sometimes i forgot that someone gave me a tip you know long ago and then i'll mention it you know and not give them credit but for a big thing like this you know, where we take some uh, puzz puzzle figuring out to do this. Please find out for me who did this first, okay? And I'm sure it's not a content creator. Who did this first? And let's just give him credit for it down in the comments below, okay? But without wasting any more time, guys, when you come in here, this I have found three clues, okay? Just because I have found out about this, I saw that you know the people making videos had no real clue how to get there and they just copy and pasted whatever was on reddit okay so i actually put a bit of effort in and saw how did this person that deserves all the credit get to this okay so when you walk into the halloween house there will be right to your left there here will be your first clue Okay, so I'm just going to spawn in a flashlight quickly. I'm doing this a single player. Um, so yeah, flashlight will help you a lot. Okay, so we just take the M9 flashlight, which is usually the easiest one to use. And then we press Shift E to turn it on. So right here by this gravestone, okay, it says, add 10 bones and a couple of eyes and you'll get the chance to stay alive. Okay, so 10 bones and two eyes, a couple of eyes is two, okay? And then you'll get the chance to stay alive. So that's basically all I've seen so far, you know, from the people copying this person that needs all the credit. And then I went here and I found this one that says seven lit candles, seven, okay? Just like I say, people are taking credit and getting views and, you know, helping themselves without giving credit where credit is due. So seven lit candles around a puppet's head will, without question, resurrect the dead. So we need seven lit candles around a puppet's head, okay? And of course, we're going to need a lighter for this. I think there's one more note. I'm not sure, okay? But the last note that I found is over here. And it says here, that... Down you go, just follow the stairs. If you're lucky enough, you'll meet your death. Okay? So, the most common thing that people know about, which is very easy, is this sword over here. So, you just 
activate the sword, this opens up, okay? And then you go down here. And then you're going to see blood and everything. I didn't see any notes or anything here, any cryptic things here. Okay, so then we're going to come here to the pentagram. Okay, and we're going to put down seven candles. Okay, seven candles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And ten bones is easy, guys. I think you have to buy the candles. Ten bones is easy. You get two bones from every puppet. Okay. And then the 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 um the what's his name? The the eyes will take a bit of effort. Okay. The eyes will take a bit of effort. So let's just do this quickly. And then the last three doesn't really matter. Good two year. And one more there. Okay. And then we have to put a puppet eye or a puppet head. Okay. Like the clue says. <clears throat> and then we must light. Okay. We must light these candles. So we, of course, need a lighter to light the candles. And then the blood moon has got a lot to do with this, guys. So, you know, it's Halloween, midnight is the scariest time, okay? So, here it goes, okay? So I'm just going to put this off. Get a nice screenshot of it. And my title is going to be The Devs Are Awesome, guys. I'm taking absolutely no credit for this, but... The devs are awesome. And whoever figured this out, buddy, congrats. I've got, you know, the utmost respect for you. So, that's really good. And now we're just going to change the time to 24. Oh, the puppet eyes. The puppet eyes. Puppet eyes, sorry guys. Put two puppet eyes in there. So that's freaking awesome. And then you get this cursed puppet suit. Okay. And the cursed puppet suit. Like, guys, like, I was here. And I, and I told my stream, you know, like, adding the catacombs and everything is cool. But they've got a lot of work to do. You know, they're still working on the modular cars and the modular base building. I don't think they're going to put any fancy kind of thing into this. You know, and a lot of people, you know, I came here... And then we saw these two ghosts being added there, and we thought, oh, well, you know, that's about, uh, we think that's it. The fact that they all out of all of this, guys, is freaking awesome, okay? These devs, guys, these devs go above and beyond. Like, seriously, above and beyond, okay? So we're going to go out here. And I literally killed, you know, I, I literally killed the puppets. Oh, sorry. The way to get out of here... Just going to show you guys here quickly the way to get out of here but like remember the walking dead guys the walking dead when we walk amongst the puppets with the blood on us you know this is this is absolutely ridiculous man so you just go through here jump on here okay and then crouch through here jump on this rock here and then you can jump on this rock here and you climb up this rock and then you walk through and you crouch through this little gap here. Okay, and then you're out. Then you're out. 
And now that we're wearing this, this outfit, okay, it's like we're in The Walking Dead. It's like we're in The Walking Dead. Where they just ignore us. This is, guys, this is amazing. This is just, this is ridiculously amazing. Ridiculously amazing. I love this. Um, I just want to take off whatever I've got on my head here. So this is what it looks like. Okay, let me just get a bit into, get into the, get into the light here. So you see, just like The Walking Dead. Just like The Walking Dead, guys. Okay. Just like The Walking Dead. And we can literally just walk amongst them. And yeah, guys. <clears throat> you know, just, just write in the comments, scum devs are awesome. That's all I want you to do. Don't give me credit for this video. I didn't figure this out. I just, I just want to find the guy that needs the credit for all of this. And, you know, just, you know, it's like this is above and beyond. Really, guys. These guys are freaking awesome, man. In the comments below, scum devs are awesome. And find out who figured this out first, guys, so we can give him credit. Okay, and if you guys know of one more note, so we found the note there, we found the note at the back, and we found that note. If you guys know about one more note, let me know. But three notes, three notes sounds sounds good. And yeah, guys, of course, um, you know, it doesn't mean that. It definitely means like with the katana. A katana is the ultimate kit because. Only one puppet that's gonna... You never have to deal with multiple puppets. You never have to deal with multiple puppets. Because even if I kill other puppets, <clears throat> you know, nothing's gonna happen. So, yeah, you will never have to deal with more than one puppet. Like you see, I cut up the puppet eyes myself. And now I just want to see one thing. Now I just want to see one thing. I'm gonna <clears throat> spawn in. And M9, M9 weapon, and I just want to spawn it around. Nine millimeter. Okay, I just want to check something. So they won't, you know, they won't um, aggro on you unless you hit them. But the the puppets around them won't aggro on them either. But if you shoot, that's the question. If you shoot, what then? So I just want to see, I just want to make sure there's a puppet here. Yeah, there's a puppet here. So let's see what happens when we shoot. <laughs> you can literally shoot people. Guys, meat grinder, meat grinder players. You can shoot people and you know, you can shoot people in a town and you won't be bothered by the puppets. You can shoot people in a town, guys, and you won't be bothered by the puppets. This is awesome! That is very awesome! Guys, thank you very much. Have a fantastic day. And without a shadow of a doubt, this is the best survival game on the planet with the greatest freaking future. And I am so happy to be part of this community. Please, all I want to see in the comments, I don't want to see the word Luthias. Get me the name of the person that deserves the, all this credit. And just type in the, in the comments, scum devs are awesome. Cheers, guys. Have fun. Freaking hell. I'm excited for the future. I hope you guys are too. Cheers.